Hello, I'm Cameron Best. Security staff manning the Moorable Street bus interchange are about to disappear after the Department of Transport stopped funding the positions. A Geelong company has been fined a total of $160,000 for a series of workplace accidents. Timber Trust pleaded guilty to failing to provide a safe work environment following three incidents in three months. The state's peak local government body will call on the state government to look at the problem of hoarding after the issue was raised by Geelong City Council. And a fighting fit falcon flew to freedom yesterday after a couple of days of TLC. Leopold Wildlife Shelter set the Nankeen, the Nankeen kestrel free after nursing it back to full health. And in sport, we have a full preview of this weekend's GCA round, including the grand final rematch between Geelong City and St Albans Breakwater. Plus, we have a chat with South Barwon Cricket Club's English recruit, Ben Burkle, about his seamless transition to local cricket. All that plus your regular Friday features in the Geelong Advertiser.